What's up, guys? Jeremy Clark here, a.k.a. Mr. 66 USA on Twitter. And I'm coming to you from the Crypto Cartel Discord. And I just wanted to show you guys how I use uh, Bookmap to find, uh, to read the tape for tape reading in level two. So you can see right here, I've got my book map up and let's just make sure this drawing app is on. Okay, so what you have here is a heat map and if you can see at the top, we have these iceberg uh, large orders, especially the red ones. Um, those are controlling price. So they are keeping price um, it's not going to go above these orange orders, at least for the time being. It's not going to go below these uh, these red orders down here. And what I look for is uh, similar prices in the CAM pivots. So going over to Trading View, uh, let's see, we've got a orange large order around 22, 23, something like that. So I'm just going to mark that right here, 23. And then down here at 22,740, and again at uh, 22,680. So right around, right around here. Okay, so that gives you the temporary range uh, for where you expect, uh, where I expect price is gonna continue. Um, it's in a downtrend. You can see it's coming down uh, this uh, VWAP right here. It's in the bottom channel. Just broke, I'm sorry, just broke below S4. And it looks like it's maybe retesting here and then it's probably going to dump lower. So uh, what I would look for on Bookmap is uh, I would look for price to start being manipulated down and you would start to see these orders getting pushed lower large orders and you would start to see these orders down here getting pushed lower and then just to show you the market depth um, let's move this in here so I'm looking for an imbalance and right now you can see that price is taking place right here on the bid and the ask and this is the um, the quotes Delta I believe is this uh, what this channel is called and you can see right now you're getting um, about one hit on the ask you're getting about nine to ten hits on the bid so that by itself would probably be pulling price lower I also look for the market depth I'm looking to see if the imbalance is weighted to the upside or the downside so right now it looks a little balanced but this red zone should start to outweigh the green zone or vice versa. And when it does that, that's what I'm looking for to enter trade. So over here we have the current quotes counter. And you can see that price is taking place uh, right here kind of in the middle, this gray box. And this quotes counter is showing you that there are quotes stacked to the upside uh, on the ask. These could be sell orders, these could be people looking to buy in higher, they could be stop losses, and then there's orders stacked on the bid down below. So I'm looking for one of these to outweigh the other, and currently, at this moment, uh, it looks like it's weighted a little bit to the upside. So the amount of green orders taking place near the bid and the ask is slightly outweighing the orders up above. Now, uh, I'm also looking at the market depth, which is this box over here. And now you can start to see that, yes, there is a little bit of weight to the sell side. Um, you can see that the red cells are starting to push the green, uh, the green buys down. So, in a situation like that, uh, I'll be looking at the volume, which is these volume dots that you see right here. And the green are people that are buying on the ask, which is the highest sort of uh, agreed upon fair value price. The red are 
are selling at the bid. These are people that are exiting their trades, whether they're taking profit or they're just getting out for whatever reason. And you can see on the heat map where the larger orders are kind of stacked up. You can see there's some there, some there. And I can zoom in and you know get this going almost up to the second. And you can watch it. It's pretty um, hypnotizing. Also makes you a bit nauseous. So um, we can see we're getting some red orders right here at 22,860. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back down. And now you can start to see kind of uh, what you might call the ladder, which is all these orders in between. Um, if the price was to go down, it would it would tap into these orders that are sort of grayed out. That's where orders were or where orders are starting to come in. Um, you can see this yellow order started to get pushed down. So that's going to attract, I'm sorry, that's going to repel price. And uh, it can either act as a magnet or it can act as a supply demand zone. Uh, you see we just got that great big volume pop right there with people buying. So if we go back and look at the market depth, you're starting to see a little bit of an imbalance forming on the buy side. There's a little more demand here. There's not as much uh, supply overhead. So when I see this happening, uh, this should start to push price higher, at least you know for the in the temporary time. So over here, we have uh, time and sales, and this is showing you all the um, all the buys that are happening, all the sales that are happening. I have this set to uh, 0.25, which is around $5,000 for a quarter Bitcoin. And you can see that most of everything that's gone through at that size or larger has been buys for the last you know, five minutes or so. So going back over to uh, trading view, here's the price action uh, that's been responding to uh, all those buys and sells. And generally when we get a break below S4 here, the red line, uh, and it's in a trend, it's in a downtrend, you can see it retested the upper trend line or the upper uh, VWAP deviation band. Uh, if we get a good test here and some volume, this should come down. The next target would be 22.5. So I'm going to look and see is there any argument to be made for 22.5. And you can see right here, looks like it's not going to get much past 22.7. Now there is a big order down here at 22.5. Funny how that corresponds exactly to the lower cam order on the left. Um, and you see that a lot. Uh, so th this uh, 22.5 order is being held there to uh, either attract price or act as, a, act as a magnet or act as a floor. Uh, maybe it's not going to let price go past that, at least in the short term. But it's going to attract price to it. And you can see up ahead we had an um, overhead. There was a fail, fair value gap that got filled and then was tested again as, uh, as overhead supply. Broke down from R4, R3. And now we're headed down to, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this broke down from CPR to S3 to S4. And if it gets a good break here below um, S4, then S5 would be the, ne the next target. And again, that's at 22.6. And you can see 22.7 over here is where they're holding, they're holding the orders. And you can see a great big batch of orders right there, a few more underneath. So that area 22.7 to 22.5, which is roughly from about here to here to here, or here to here, I should say. Um, that is, that is going to attract price down to this cam pivot, which is S5. Once it gets there, um, 
can watch for more more clues. Uh, are they going to bounce it or are they going to keep uh, keep keep dipping? So uh, if I zoom in really tight here, get all the data and information that I can, um, you can see there's quite an imbalance to the market depth to the sell side. So that to me is a very good indication that price is probably going to keep dropping. And again, it's in this lower deviation of VWAP, and we have this uh, CAM pivot S6 that's acting as a, as a lower support. We've got, I'm sorry, S5 and S, S6 are both in play. And then if you look below, there's a great big fair value gap. And so my guess is that uh, it will at least come down and, and touch this and probably bounce off of it. Uh, if it starts to fill, you know, that's a good drop. It's 22.3 to 21.8. Um, but I'm doubtful that that's going to happen. I think it'll just act as a uh, lower support zone. One other thing I should mention on the cams, if we just take a look here. So the... Um, the width of the, the cam range can tell you if it's going to be an inside day or if it's going to have potential to break out. And as you can see, yesterday's, let's just get that drawer tool going. Uh, yesterday's cam was about that wide. And today's, let's get that drawing tool again. Okay, well that doesn't want to go, but uh, you get the idea. I'll just draw it for you with the regular arrow here. So from uh, S4 to R4 of yesterday, it was about that far. And from um, S4 to R4 today is only about that wide. So that tells me that there is potential for a breakout. Um, this is already tapped into this uh, fair value gap, so that means it was coming, coming down, and it came up into it and tested it, and that's a lot of overhead supply that's now ready to be distributed, and that's what's happening here. It's being distributed. So, again, if we get a good break here, I usually look for a five-minute uh, break, breakout or breakdown uh, below S4 on volume uh, to signal an entry. And I'd like a good retest of that line and then a good signal that it's either gonna break or it's gonna hold. And you can see it's kind of consolidating right here. So sometimes it'll come down to this and then that'll be the turnaround signal and it'll go back up. So you kind of have to wait and see. But again, if we're just looking at the level two, um, level two looks good to go as far as going short quite a bit more weight to the upside. Not nearly as much demand to the downside. Uh, you can see prices, the bid and the ask are taking place pretty high up here. Um, we are starting to get some demand down here. So if this gets larger, it, it would have the potential to start pushing higher. Um, and then looking over here, you do see this blue candle, if it starts to retest above uh, S4, and then we start to get a bunch of uh, demand forming down below, then it'll push the price up. Uh, vice versa, you can see, you know, we've got a lot of orders up ahead or overhead and not nearly as many orders down below. So that will tend to continue pushing price lower. So for now, I'm guessing this goes lower, and I'd like to see a good uh, entry signal right here off of S S4 um, to go short. And then uh, if I was going to play this, a lot of times I'll, I'll trade Phantom off of the Bitcoin chart, and you can see Phantom is dumping nicely. Uh, let's put that on the five-minute chart here. And it looks like I have a channel pre-drawn that uh, Phantom has been hanging out in for a bit. So, 
you know, I might look for a break of this lower trend line here, lower channel line for an entry. I might look for a break of this bottom channel line here for an entry. Uh, but I'm going to keep an eye on the volume. That is one thing about Bookmap. Um, it's currently linked up to Coinbase Pro, which does not trade Phantom. So I don't get uh, Phantom uh, information, live data using Bookmap, but I can pretty much trade Phantom right off of Bitcoin. So this is all the uh, Bitcoin data. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, I hope that helped you out a lot. Feel free to DM me and I will see you guys in chat. I'm going to post this video and uh, I will catch you on the other side. Thanks a lot.